That's right, Bill and Lauren. So this is the story that Channel 2 at first told you about in 2015. Thousands of women complaining that a permanent form of birth control where coils are inserted into a woman's fallopian tubes to prevent pregnancy is costing them their health. Tomorrow, they plan to rally against the device that remains on the market. 34-year-old Patricia had a full hysterectomy as a result of complications she had with Eshor. It felt like there was barbed wire in my abdomen. You see your wife suffering and there's literally nothing that you can do. Last year, the FDA was so persuaded by complaints like theirs, the agency put a black box warning on the device, the most serious kind of label explaining potential side effects, but stopped short of pulling the product. And I don't know why any doctor in their right mind would want to put this inside of a human being. I've been crunching the numbers and since our last report, there have been 500 complaints against Eshor to the FDA. 452 of these involved injury to a patient, including one death. Now the FDA says that since Eshor hit the market through 2016, there have been four deaths, 18 pregnancy losses and two deaths of a child after birth. But the manufacturing company Bayer told me today the safety and efficacy of Eshor, which was FDA approved in 2002, is supported by more than a decade of research and development. Bayer has and will continue to support the continued safe, effective and appropriate use of Eshor. I have proof that it's not safe sitting right next to me. And then as soon as I had my hysterectomy and those coils were gone, it was like my life just changed. The Escher Rally is tomorrow from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at City Hall downtown. All right, Haley.